I'm Jeffrey Wapel, the new Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville. Very excited to start uh, the new chapter in my career here. I come to you in a former position as Assistant Vice President for Student Engagement and Dean of Students at Northern Kentucky University. From the time I had my first uh, Skype interview, there was already a connection I could feel between uh, the members of the search committee and myself as I arrived at campus, uh, as we started talking about uh, the future aspirations of the university and the division. I saw an opportunity to take a very good institution and make it great, uh, similar to the Division of Student Affairs, a lot of opportunities to continue to grow on the great foundation that was uh, started here with the 20-year history of Novi Emanuel. Building on that uh, success and history and moving it forward was very uh, appealing and enticing to me. Everywhere I went, and every conversation I had, regardless if it was with a dean or a faculty member or a student, people were talking about the future with great hope and great excitement. That really uh, kind of drew me here. Really can't wait to see the 14,000 students back on campus uh, in August and start engaging them in all their activities. And I think that's something that the students will see from me. If you can't tell, I'm an extrovert. Uh, <laughs> And so I will be uh, going to many events and many student organization events and many things across campus, and engaging them and listening and trying to figure out how to make their experience better. I'm starting a new student leader roundtable group that will be the key student organization presence across campus. And we'll be meeting monthly to talk about issues they may be facing, how we can help them better serve their constituencies. What, how can they work together? Uh, as a student body and student organizations to kind of move the agenda forward and what new campus traditions can we start. One of the challenges of a, of a younger institution is to have students build affinity to that place. Um, and so the more we do these type of student engagement events, the more they feel connected to campus. So when they graduate, um, they become productive alumni, not only in the communities they go to, but also giving back to the institution, whether it's time, talent, or, or money. We want people to be proud that they're Cougars. I think one of the, the major goals that I have is to develop programs of regional and national distinction and excellence. Another major goal is to really look at how our division develops programs and services that affect the student success and retention of underrepresented students. That ranges from first-generation college students to African-American students, Latino students, LGBTQ, veterans, non-traditional students with disabilities. I mean, there's a whole gamut of, of students there that I think the university needs to pay a little bit more closer attention to, not only in, in getting them here, but keeping them here. Another piece is making sure that we have up-to-date facilities that meet current and future student community and university needs. We're going to be looking at a long-range uh, expansion and, and renovation plan for the Morris University Center. We're looking at what will be the next expansion for the Student Fitness Center, and that will also help make the student experience even more vibrant on campus. I think the challenges we're going to have as an institution revolving around the budget and when that comes out, how that impacts what's being cut and what's being kept and how we continue to move the institution forward despite that challenge because students are coming and they're expecting a quality education and quality services and programs for us and we have to be ready for them to, regardless of what the cut is. And actually you can expand during a cut. I've found that looking at resources and how to reallocate them is, is a critical skill to have and so we're, we're now looking at here's what's being cut but here's what we have and now where do we need to put what we have to what makes the most sense. You know, Bing Crosby says that Christmas time is the most wonderful time of the year, and I disagree. The most wonderful time of the year is August, um, when, when the students come back to campus. The energy that's on a campus, um, regardless of where you are, is just extraordinary, especially the new students that come with their hopes and their dreams, the first time away. I mean, there's real energy. We're just not gonna sit and wait idly by for the next thing to happen. Um, you're going to see a, a, a vibrant and lively division. You're going to see a, a very engaging vice chancellor. So I hope they're ready. I'm ready to meet you and uh, looking forward to a great 2015-2016 uh, academic year.